Jayaprakash Gandhi, career consultant analyst. Many students and parents are eagerly awaiting the JE main exam analysis. In fact, JE main exam 2020 results were announced yesterday. There are a lot of surprises also. First thing is out of 8,58,000 who registered, almost 6,35,000 students wrote the examination. There are a few surprises and few expect as per expectations. The first thing is out of 24 students who got 100 percentile, in fact, Telangana got 8 and Delhi also comes next and Andhra Pradesh and Telangana put together because Andhra Pradesh got 3 and Telangana 8 almost contributed 48.6 percentage of the toppers, 24 toppers in 2020. Only one girl out of 24 got uh, the 100 percentile. The remaining 23 are boys. So it again proves that boys are outperforming girls in JE exams as usual. In fact, uh, very disappointing to see not even one student from Tamil Nadu scored 100 percentile. But there are few surprises. In fact, uh, the, the cutoff for to write the JE advanced examinations for general category, it is really little marginally rise. Last time it was 89.754849, almost 89.7548. But this time it is 90.37. Uh, 65335 90.3765 but for other categories it has come down in fact for OBC from 78.2174869 it has come down to 72.887969 so there is a reduction from 78 to 72 for ST candidates is tremendous domestically it's come down for ST and ST very very surprising last time it was 74.31 Double six double five seven, but this time it is fifty point one seven six zero two four five. So from seventy four, it has come down to fifty. Huge reduction of almost twenty four uh, uh, percentage in scheduled tribe. It has come down from fifty four to thirty nine. So this scheduled uh, cast and scheduled tribe students who wrote JE exam are going to have huge opportunities. In fact, it will come down in advance also because the ST, ST students have also has got a good reservation in IITs and IITs and other institutions. So it's going to be huge advantage for them. And also this time, uh, the, if you look at the, uh, the cutoff and the marks and all this, uh, if you look at uh, almost uh, the rank between the rank and the mark, if you have scored more than 270, you will be around 50 ranks. If you have scored 250 marks, you would have got around 210 ranks around. 240, you will be under 400 rank. 230, if you have got 230 marks out of 300, you would have got ranks around 650. 220, you would have got almost 1000 rank. 210, will be almost 1500. Uh, uh, 200, will almost 2100. 190, you will be almost 2000. 900 or 3000, 180 almost 4000 rank, 170 5400 rank, 160 almost 7500 rank, 150 almost 9700 rank, 140 will be almost 12500 rank, 130 almost 17000 rank, 120 almost 22 to 23000 rank, 110 will be almost 28. So very, very much if you look at these analysis and uh, if you look at the, the research part of it, the students who got, the boys who got more than 120 marks and got rank around 22,000 plus will definitely get into any one I, NIT, any one NIT, uh, uh, any course, not the top courses. And the same way the girls who scored more than 110 marks. Uh, uh, will definitely get in any one NITs. So there is going to be again the, the widening of between the girls and the boys is going to be more even this time. So that is again a good, good news for the girls students. Even if you mark, got marks a little less, you got every chance getting into NITs. If you look at the percentile, the mark and the percentile, if you score 280 marks, you will get 99.973948. If you got 270 marks, you would have got 99.9940299. If you got 250 marks, you would have got 99.9750342. If you got 230 marks, you would have got 99.9289017. If you got 
210 marks 99.845216 if you got 190 marks you would have got 99.685790 if you got 170 you would have got 99.4312 and if you have got 150 marks you would have got 98.9902699 so almost if you have scored more than 97.5 percentile there is every chance that you might get in any one course in any uh, in, in nit in any one nits so this is again the overall picture so again so i i it's a great information for the students for the next year so i always been telling in my career guidance program there is always a difference between a strategic difference between the preparation for je main and the students for je advanced if you students only want to target nit and triple it's this preparations for nit and triple it for je main alone no need to write je advanced and if you have that's a different strategy and if you're looking for iit then there's a different strategy so first people never understand this the students so at least for the coming year the students you should realize this is again it's again i, I always tell you that the students who scored 24 students who got the toppers in this je main will not be the toppers again in je advanced remember this again i repeating the students the 24 students who got 100 percentile in je main will not be the toppers again in je advanced if they write it so it clearly shows that the preparations the strategy is different for the advanced and the main examination and again this time is a great news for the students who is writing only je main targeting only je main you have 88 institutions this time 88 institutions including iit in joshua counseling you will have this year you are going to have 111 institutions this year three institutions have been included one triple it and two gfti that is government funded technical institutions and again in joshua filling the students should be the choice filling is very very important the students who is going for only nit and triple it's and other institutions uh, the government funded you need to really many students make a mistake they give first preference to all the nits then they come to triple it's and no don't do that you see even triple it's are doing extremely well what i tell you so you give you we should give preference to nit there's no doubt about it iit stands first if you are you are eligible for iit give preference to iit but again in iit give preference to circuit branches not the secondary courses i always believe to do a secondary course uh, in in iit it's not so good when compared to doing a top course in nit i would prefer a top course in nit rather doing a secondary course even if it's in iit because future the institution is not going to matter not as much as before so remember that you need to choice filling is becoming a very tricky thing the students who got only je main only nit and triple it i tell you what i advise is first give preference to top 4 nits then give one triple it then again four nits then one triple it in that way if you do it there is every chance or you can give three nits and one triple it that is still more better so that will give you more chance to get into even triple it many we have seen uh, almost like last time almost 70% of the students are given more in, importance to nit than triple it so remember even triple it is are doing extremely well in nit is definitely trichy suratkal warangal calicut nagpur bhopal alahabad delhi and jaipur are the top choices this is my my order of preference in triple it in triple it alahabad triple it dm kanjipuram jabalpur triple it triple it gwalior are ma- major top choices in triple it so what i tell you is when you when you put a just joshua you can put nit trichy nit suratkal nit warangal triple it alahabad then nit calicut then in that way again nit nagpur nit bhopal triple it in kanjipuram or triple it jabalpur the way you prefer so my dear students again the choice filling has got a very tricky thing and maybe we'll come back again with more information about the joshua choice filling also so it's a great opportunity wish you all the very best do your homework before you choice filling in joshua so wish you all the very best if you're writing your advanced examination thank you very much